everyone. Thank you so much for coming to see your seventh graders concert. I'm so glad to see so many people here and have so many students on stage. Um, as we start, I, I just want to start with a word from me. You may have heard from your student and your child that I am not returning to Grand Park next year. And this is super bittersweet for me. Um, I'm choosing to spend a couple of years at home with my babies while they're still babies. <laughs> Uh, and I'm very excited to do that because it's only a very short time in their lives. But I have Yay. been teaching at Grant Park for my entire teaching career. I graduated from college and got a job at Grant Park, and I have been here for 12 years, which is almost as long as I've been alive. <laughs> All my memories of teaching are here in this building, this stage. Um, and I have so enjoyed getting, know, getting to know your kids for the past couple of years. Some of your families, I have known the families for many older sisters or brothers, and I'll be really sad to, to leave here and sad to say goodbye. Um, students, I just want to give a, a note to you. Um, thank you for all the hard work and focus that you put into every day in class and also that you're putting in tonight. I'm so excited to hear the product that you're gonna put on this stage. We work a lot about our tone and mouth shape and all that. Don't forget to add your heart to it. Don't forget to sing with heart and leave your heart here on stage. My heart lives here on this Grand Park stage. Add your heart to it tonight. Make this a great memory of the ending of your seventh grade year. Thank you for sharing your children with me. Um, and without further ado, let's start the first song.
This song helped the students improve vocal independence by singing in three-part and four-part harmony. When only a small number of voices are singing the same notes, every voice becomes more important. Each singer must listen intently and support his or her part by singing with a strong voice. <laughs> 